Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. With this one, we're in AIEs, and I am gonna show you my favorite headshot generator by a mile. Let me show you here. I'm gonna click on this, and here's what we got. We got two things. You got professional style and creative style. But before I show you the techniques, real quickly here, the reason why this is so good, straight up here, is you do not have to pay for it, and it's easy to use. I don't know how many times I've gone to a headshot generator, and it asked me to go ahead and upload a photo, and then I upload another five photos, <laughs> and then I go through the process and then it asks me to download it and then it has a watermark and I got to pay to remove it or something like that. I don't know. We've all been there. Uh, it's crazy. This one is one photo, one click done. Here we go. Let me show you how to do it. All right. So the first step, if you're following along, is go to AIEs.AI. Links in the description below. Click on Explore Our AI Tools. The first one is Headshot Generator. That's the one we're working with. We'll click on that. We've got two options here. We've got a professional style and a creative style. Both are very, very cool. I'm going to start with professional style because this one, you know, it's the more traditional one where if you're creating a LinkedIn profile picture or maybe you want a, a passport photo or something like that, we'll go with that one. But next, after that, we're going to look at creative style. In creative style, not only can you create a lot of really cool looks, you can also create consistent characters. I'll show you that in the second bit here. So let's click on professional style. Let's get cooking. All right, so creating a free headshot is easy here. It is literally AIEs. I guess it's in the name. I don't know. But here it is. All you got to do is click on this upload photo and then select an image. I've got one here and I'll show it to you. I'll even zoom in here in a second here when it loads up. Watch this. Look here. You'll see this. This is an okay photo, but look, he's drinking a beer and he's got a, you know, a little bit of a logo on his shirt that maybe you wouldn't want in a LinkedIn profile photo but you like the photo. So there we go. We've uploaded this one here. It's also, we're going to make it good. I'm going to select here what uh, our gender. I'm going to select male. I'll click on next. And that's it. That's literally all there is to it. It is a one-click solution. No watermarks, no nonsense. I'll come back when it's done. It's very, very quick. Show you the result. All right, welcome back. So that only took about 30 seconds at most. Zoom in a little bit here. These are fantastic LinkedIn profile pictures. These are great headshots. This one here in the suit. Look at that. If we zoom out to a normal shot, that is a profile picture I would put up. I wouldn't put up the one in the sweatshirt and the and the and the Carlsberg beer, but this one works. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Now I'm going to show you some of the more creative side of things for those of you that like to get creative. All right. So we've created some professional style headshots. If it's LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, works great. Let's look at some creative styles. These also work for those types of things, but I have a lot of fun with this. Let's click on creative style like I've done here. And you'll notice we've got four styles right off the bat. So if you're into anime, pixel art, cartoons, or watercolor, etc., this is a fantastic option. In this one, I'm going to show you cartoon style because this one is both my favorite. And I've got something cool here for you. So I'm going to click on select. And then here, it's the same process as the previous one. But watch this. I'm going to grab an image and I'm going to grab it from my AIEs folder. And this one here is a mid-journey image of Clark Kent. And it's very important that I note that because I created this in mid-journey. We're going to upload that, and then I'm going to go ahead and use this creative process to turn it into a cartoon. And Clark Kent, I've got him photorealistic-ish. Now we're going to turn him into a Superman cartoony type style. Watch this. I'll come back when this is done. All right, welcome back. So here's what we got. Here's our first two shots at it. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. And there we go. We've got Clark Kent. But this time, he's in a cartoon style as opposed to a photorealistic style. Fantastic stuff. If you look at his face here, I'll zoom in a little further. Just look at the spacing of his eyes, his, um, his glasses here, the shadow around his face. Let's look at the original image so you can see how good this is. Look at that. You can see it just about perfectly. This is him basically made into a cartoon. Great job. Great work. That said, there are a few other styles we could try out. And also keep in mind... If I want this, I can just click on download and it costs me nothing. So here we go. Let's go back and look at one more style for fun. All right. The last thing I want to show you is how to use the creative style to create an anime style headshot as well. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to click on select here and then we get four options. In this case, we're going with anime. And when you do that, again, this is one click, drag and drop, done. I'm going to go to my finder, grab an image here. So I've got an image called sword. And it's of this nice looking lady here holding his sword as she does. I'll take a few seconds here to upload it. I'll come back when it's done, show you the last steps. All right, welcome back. So look at that. This is fantastic stuff. Here she is do holding her sword. I've got the original image open so you can do a comparison here. There she is looking all cool and 
uh, terrifying with her sword. Now she's an anime character, and the first one is good, and the second one here is also very, very good. It even added in some cool background detail there in the in the background. So you gotta like it. Again, you could just click on download, and it's done. I have a copy of it. I didn't pay for it. It's free. This is AIE's. It's a fantastic tool. Create your headshots and your AI avatars here for free. Give it a crack. Thanks for watching.